Alright, uh, this is gonna be a tutorial how to do 6% right? So, uh, first things first, you need to change the language to German. So, you can go to resources, this link, yeah. and you can download the German file. Find your Steam folder. Going here, Steam, uh, Steam apps, common. And Fallout 4, then the data folder. Find your voices.pa2. Basically, just download this, rename this to something else, and then rename that file to whatever this is. Then your voices should be German. Same goes for every language. We're gonna start the game. I've got this fancy launcher I made. I can change some languages also on Ethercom. And just start the game. Got my volume here. So, yeah, the basically most of it is exactly the same as any percent. So, uh, there's really not not much for me to say there in this part if you want it to be more precise I Krieg bleibt immer just gleich. going to my analysis 100% tutorial ja. Und jetzt it should be linked mal in den sehen. Okay. here somewhere resource guides probably 100% tutorial some of this you can find it easily Hang on. There you go. So you can like wait for Codsworth, takes forever. Speed up the game. Probably shouldn't do this in a real run. I just did it for demonstration. Start it. Start timer at minus 3.5 seconds. Just like in all runs. Start that when you press OK. And go out Thank here. You, Codsworth. Press E on him to talk immediately. Like everyone does that differently. But to my knowledge, it doesn't really matter how you do it. It's like a few tenths of a second, maybe like half a second advantage to waiting for Cosworth. Some people don't like it, but it's perfectly okay. As far as getting the run verified. Just wait here with this lineup. Spam hey, Godsmouth. Hey, and then Schatz. turn to spam E on lower. You go oder? here, into these tools, line up somewhere around here, is what I do. You can go like here maybe, but I like here, so it's more consistent, because you don't really don't need to save the, the frames that it would save you. Again, some people do it differently. Tomato Anus does it differently. Dutch is probably differently as well. Doesn't really matter. And then there's spam in. Spam in the door. Spam 1 and 4. So dialogue. Again, if you want more detail, just watch Tomato Anus's tutorial. So now the perks is the only place really where it's different from any percent. So you're just gonna set your name to whatever. So uh, then set four endurance, ten charisma, and ten agility. So uh, yeah, there's. A, I've got a video how to do it like super try hard with two hands. It says like a few tens, that's what my current world record does. It doesn't really even matter. So just do it whatever. However you like. So just like that. For those interested. The reason we do this is ten charisma is a must to pass all the speak speech checks with Magnolia. Like even 9 charisma makes you fail it, so pretty much just gotta do 10. 
Um, the rest will dump into endurance and agility for the longest sprint by having 10 agility and 4 endurance you get very marginal, marginally longer sprint like uh, like a tenth of a second longer sprint on a full sprint bar so it's but it's faster it's free so just do it really so now when you've done this you press R to accept all that like in the sequence spam 4 or down whatever I like to spam it 4 on him to skip his final lines and then just spam E on Nora. Wunderbar. Ähm, danke nochmal. Hey, Schatz. Für dich und Sean ist kein Preis zu hoch. Go into here. Gute Antwort. Ich habe meine Momente. Up, whatever, however you like. And then you're gonna wait until you hear Codsford saying something. Then you're gonna press E on him and then turn the to Sean and press E on him to play with him. Now, uh, you don't need to do it extremely quickly, like you gotta be precise on Codsworth, but you don't have to do a s insane flick from Codsworth to here since you gotta wait for Nora to start talking anyway. So yeah, it's it's not a really you don't it doesn't really matter how fast you play with Sean. It just matters how fast you skip Codsworth's dialogue. <laughs> Hey, Godsworth. Du hast Godsworth gehört. Los. You can like hear Nora now. You have to wait for her to finish the dialogue. Just just spam E on the mobile. So play with it. Spin the mobile as fast as possible. And wait for Nora and spam or down or whatever. Super dialogue. You can also do like the other directions. Some of them are equally fast. The spammy to get through the door as fast as possible. Yeah, and you like, and stand here somewhere. And stand really close. And then you got the chance of getting stuck in the door. Like standing pretty far away. And again, it doesn't matter because you gotta try to time it so that you uh, run through the doorway as fast as the door is opening. Like this. We must go to the vault! Sofort! Like, get close to the best possible. And uh, now, uh, a new strat I found for jumping over the fence. It's really small, but I like it a lot. It's really consistent. But like, as someone, as most people that run this game a fair bit, the fence jump is really easy, but usually a lot of times it can fuck you over. So I just like, run like this. Try to get over here, Friend up there, and uh, yeah, it's consistently does it every time. I try to take like a wide angle around here, so that you can see this right part of the pole matches up with the little indent on the bush, so that you can jump over there, over the lower part of the bush to easily get over it, so you don't have to go way over there and do it like this because that's like less consistent harder but technically a worse line so this is again it's, I don't think anyone has tried it yet but I like it a lot I don't see anyone who's not to do it so basically this over just run over here I like running through this piece Das ist absurd. Ich bin Spam me on him. Wir müssen rein. Wir stehen auf der Liste. Wir müssen rein. Wir stehen auf der Liste. Was wird auf der Liste? Wir tun was wir können. Sie bitte auf die Plattform. In die Mitte. Dann just run on to the platform as fast as possible. Let the player use up all your sprints. Let's go for getting on the platform. Fast geschafft. Es wird alles gut. Ich liebe euch. Euch beide. Wir lieben dich auch. Oh mein Gott! Oh. So yeah, this is really not that important. Now is a few minutes of just boring stuff. Just for the sake of keeping the video short, I'm gonna speed it up. Or um, yeah, 
This part I'm gonna play at normal speed. Yes, we have quick save here. So, but one thing, if you ran and you have before, you know that there's like nothing that can go wrong in the run. But here, Danke. just go over here and what the scientist follows you every time. It's like one or two units behind you when you get to the pod. Units is like the thing on the radar down there. This is like kind of good that it happened. As you can see on the thing down here, he's 24 units away at this point. Which means if I would have kept, kept going forwards, I would have got, gotten to the pod and he's still a far distance away. Which means that I have to wait for a long time before he gets there. Because he has to say some stuff before we can enter the pod. So um, this is kind kind of the shitty part about running on German because it happens a lot of more often than any language. Like for all the old guys that ran on English, it kind of sometimes happened on English. In French, it's like non-existent, and on German, it's. It's not very often, but it's like, I don't know, to five runs, maybe. Now, uh, the best strat try to not get this. I've tried like waiting for him, it doesn't work. Basically, just hold W and pray for the best. That gives you the best odds. So just hold W. Like, since I paused, he's gotten closer to me. As you can see now, he's 10 units away. And this is like 15 seconds of waiting. Ideally, when you stop here, he's right behind you. He'll pass you as right when you stop. Hello. So when he starts talking, press E on him and then E on the pot. Do that really quick. So now I can skip because this is just a really boring part. Skip the part about next to them because this part is like. A good chunk of the run. <laughs> like to be honest, the run hasn't really started after until after this cuts in. Six so, percent is different from the other. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do basically this whole vault part is gonna be different than twenty percent. So uh Both the clips are actually different than 100%, mainly because there's new strats that I found that only I've, I've used in either 6% or any percent. Like, it's fastest in 6%, but I believe it can save time in any percent as well. Basically, just start running, just put an E, and right, right when you are hitting one of the doors, press R, it will take out your fists. And the reason you take take it about why while you're running towards the doors is because it it stops your sprint for like 0.5 seconds. So if you do it in the middle of the hallway, you lose sprint for a half a second. That's why you do it at the door. And the reason why you do this is going to be apparent in like 10 seconds. So yeah, just go into here. <coughs> you can also like when you press E on the door, press shift. One more time to stop sprint, and then right when you start sprint, like you get past the door, press shift again to conserve a little bit of AP. It's not really necessary now. <laughs> so if you see, so that I picked out the baton, so that there was no animation of taking the baton out, and that's why you want to take the fists out. Load the quick load now. Don't take the fists out like you usually do. <coughs> you see here, there's like a second where I can sprint, where you're taking out the baton, which wastes a little bit of time. So, since it's pretty <coughs> much free, how you can take out the fists takes a little bit of time. So, yeah, so uh, this is the part where the first clip, which is different from any other 6% run or any percent run or whatever. This is 
brand new strat only featured in the recent world records. So basically you want to go to this cone, crouch, something like this distance. Like you, everyone has different setups for their cones. Doesn't matter. Grab it, and as you can see, uh, there there's this like gap here. And that's where you want to clip, not in the corner. You want to get, go kind of like this, so you at the edge of this wall towards the like pretty much this angle. You want to hold backwards and jump. So that you feel like you're not going to this side, you're not going to this side, but you're in between these. If you don't jump, it's gonna be really hard. You want to go to that side? Oh, you're going to the corner then, and like it's not easy to climb up into here, so you use jumping to your advantage. So hold backwards until you like at this edge, jump in the corner, and clip. Now, this clip is a lot easier than the old 6% clip where you clipped up here, jumped out of bounds. You had like had to, the clip was hard, you had to get the perfect clip to not just fall out of bounds. This is really easy. Just grab the cone, clip out, sp spam space to like quickly get over stuff in me there. Uh, it doesn't really need more explaining than that, it's really easy. And then take either cone, find a good distance, grab it. I like, as I'm running out, to bump it on this corner to make it sideways because I find that cone clipping is much easier when the cone is laying on the side. And I think most people have some kind of setup to tilt their cones that way. And then you're gonna run over. Yeah, basically I can just show you. Run over here, in between this place, then that's set the punch rope or either of the other watches, jump out, and clip on this corner. <laughs> and go over here to hit the trigger for the elevator. That might have been a little bit much. So uh yeah, step by step, it's run over here, bump it, get into this place, yeah, here, so that you're just in between this. You want to be like as stuck as possible between this. That's, do this kind of fast so the red roach doesn't get close to you. Jump over here, clip. This clip can sometimes be kind of troll. It's not really that hard, it's just as hard as that clip, but it's a bit further distance, but it saves 6 seconds, so it's kind of, it's kind of big. Clip out, spam space as much as you can in there, because sometimes you can just jump mid there. That's all. You want all the length you need, so you don't fall out of bounds. Because then, then, this happens. Like if you don't get the clip far enough, you like how we land here, fall down, and you see you see back here, and it's reset because you lost so much time. down to the exit vault option. So now you're exiting vault. So 
our your main objective now is to your main objective is to get to this house because there's a red roach there and it's the closest animal or NPC that you can attack in wets so that's the thing we're gonna deploy the punch rope on because we don't need to do anything and we just want to get deploy the punch rope as fast as possible so that we can so that we can uh, yeah do the run as fast as possible basically so um, you can follow this trail like the that rock so you get easily over the log straight down a little bit to the left sometimes you get fall damage like that it's it's just random really it doesn't matter though the fall damage damage is really never enough to ruin a run it's wrong the running I like to take in the side here inside of this rock over here because like my uh, action point management is like completely fucked now but I like uh, come over here full sprint here jump and then press shift again to stop sprinting that should give you always enough AP to deploy the punch warp so uh, before we deploy the punch warp there is because we need to do positioning to get the best landing spot on the punch rope. This is advanced shit. So basically all you need to know is if you ever pre press caps lock, you're moving like this. You're constantly walking. There's also like buttons. I don't, I don't remember what we can hold it. I, you got to do the toggle basically. And with this enabled in mid you move just short enough distance which is perfect for us because that makes it really easy to do the mid-air movement in the bench warp so what you want to do is sprint up here and right before you deploy the punch warp like you release W press caps lock so you move slow go into vets uh, select red roach, spam mouse one and E, whatever, and deploy the, or yeah, deploy the punch warp. So uh, yeah, I can just do this one time. You see, I'm moving slow now. It's normal walking speed. Sprint in. I'm not press fast up. Then I move slow. Attack it. And now you wanna hold A and S. This is extremely important. Because now I land at the car instead of over there. If you don't hold ANS, you're gonna land over there 9 out of 10 times. Or else you're gonna land way up there, which also saves a lot of time, or waste a lot of time. So yeah, just press caps lock before the punch warp, and then hold ANS all the way until you land the car. Don't try to cut corners and release it early because then it's not gonna work. Then, then you're gonna press caps lock again so that you stop uh, with a slow walk because you don't want to go slow. I just like look at the indicator on my keyboard to know if my caps lock is in or not. Yeah, just pay attention to the line I'm taking that I found to be the fastest. Jump over there. Try to like jump over this. And then what you wanna do is usually in the point of the run, you're out of sprint here. You should be regening sprint so that you can jump over the hole while running, not sprinting. Uh, because it's faster to jump while running, not sprinting. And also you want to wait as long as you can until that raider over there notices you and then you want to sprint full sprint towards the door this is so that you save AP so you can sprint through the door so you want to outrun the dog spawns on the back side there because if you're too slow he's gonna block you in the doorway 
and sometimes it's really bad, so you gotta kill the dog, and that's waste a lot of time. So gotta like. So what you should do is just wait until that one notices you, the raider, and just sprint towards the door. Sometimes it can be trolled, but there's nothing else you can do. You can like kind of look at the patterns of how he's reacting, where he's moving. Sometimes he moves towards the door, but that's that comes with experience from running this run. Okay, sprint now. There he walks towards the door. Like just run around him. Very rarely the raider blocks you at the door, but it can happen, so be careful of that. And as you saw, the dog wasn't close to blocking me. That's because I was sprinting. So the, from the time the dog aggroed on me, he didn't have time to actually, he didn't have time to get to the door and block me. It's just like AP management and if, if you don't do that, if you just slow walk to the door, the dog's gonna block you like 9 of 10 times. And then it's just walk this way, try to have crosshair around here to get close to the snow as possible. We got molds, I don't die. Obviously, not allowed. Then get around here. Hold this line. Get between here. Also, manage your sprint. Get through here. Get through this one. I'll make a quick save here. And then, I guess you wanna like take this line. A little bit to the side here, so avoid this bump. On here. This, this jump can be like quite hard sometimes, so uh, try to manage it so you don't run out of HP in the middle of the so you don't run out of HP in the middle of the jump because that fucks it up. So uh, yeah, full sprint. It looks like this, and then once you land on here, you want to flick towards here because there's a load zone, but also. Press shift so it cancels the sprint, or if you're just running, like don't press anything at all. Because if you're not sprinting when enter a good neighbor, for some reason your AP bar gets refilled. Probably a logical explanation to it, but I'm not it. You, but you just wanna press shift if you're already sprinting, so that you're at this speed, not sprinting speed, into here. So uh, yeah, if you're out of HP, you can do it with running. But they gotta jump a bit later. Like that. That's pretty much what you need to know. And then just walk towards here and into good neighbor. So that saves like quite a good time compared to going to the door. And once you load in, in the immediately when it starts to fade in, press Q or whatever your vet key is, and then just tab out immediately. This brings out your baton and it's probably the fastest way to take out your baton. I like doing it here because yeah that's just how I do it. You can do it when entering third rail as well. I like doing it here so I have less thing to worry about in third rail. Like this. That's usually you're fast enough to do that in the fade -in. It doesn't matter it's just Q or whatever and tab. Then we're gonna run hey, over here, hey, you, around hey. this corner, straight into the third rail. And uh, this is also a place where there's new strats, that's only in my current PBs. Um, usually you hit this guy, but uh, you want to aggro someone in here so that because when you aggro, Magnolia stops singing. Uh, and then you hold the gun, and then they forgive you for some reason. You can like do that one time. Next time you aggro, then they're pissed forever. Until you wait 48 hours, then they're, then they're fine again. So you, yeah, you want to go in here, run through. Hancock, through this corner, jump over here. Of course I missed the jump. Down here, over here, and that this is why you want to have the button ready because as you're running past the door, 
Wieder einer von euch Söldnern auf der Suche nach McCreeds. Like ah. Und dann ist es Entschuldigung, Miss. Was ist los, du hübscher? Das Lied war wunderbar. So, uh, ich bin für Don't do that. And just go straight to her. Was? Wieder einer von euch Söldnern auf der Suche nach McCreeds. Sie doesn't want to talk. She's singing. You can also hit her. And hold her again by holding R. Entschuldigung, Miss. That's the same effect, but it's faster to take this, so that uh, you can hold her again while walking, hold the baton while walking over to Magnolia. Just small optimizations. So yeah, jump over here, sprint, attack, hold her again. Entschuldigung, Miss. The first two dialogue options you should take down. Ich bin begeistert. Technically, you can do the only the first need to be done. You can do the second then the left if i recall correctly the doing the second option is down slightly faster and from there on out you got to spam left so um i like to spam with both right and left hand and uh, i do that with down and four and when i want to spa spam left it's left and two so let's spam down. Ich bin wegen der Musik. Okay, the music. Then you ich würde dich gerne besser left. kennenlernen. Like, oh, the dialogue checks. Du, ich. Oh. And it's actually possible that even with ten charisma you fail the dialogue checks. And that's it can happen. Sometimes happen. It's just a meme. There's no way to counter that other than to try, like, try again, basically. Was dann? Musik. And just, hmm. yeah, basically spam ich two and left. Verschwinden wir von hier. Ich and it starts to load. And uh, with live split, the timer will stop since it's a load. And when the timer stops in the load, you can stop the run. And that's where we end the timer. That's pretty much how to do sex percent. It's I didn't explain like punch warping and general stuff. <laughs> so uh yeah. Most of it is pretty easy. I have a glitch guide on YouTube as well. It's linked on speedrun.com. And uh for the early early run stuff you can also watch the any percent tutorial by Tomato NS. And uh other than that, it should be pretty easy. The run is like, X% run is really easy now with the new strats that I show in this video. If you watch the runs like Dutch is as 11.22, and that's an old strat and it's way harder and less, less consistent, so, and that's why I wanted to make this tutorial because the runs a lot better now. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for 6%.